we've covered today, okay, in a very unique way. Um, yes, he's available for hire, I'm going to plug in, okay. <laughs> And what I didn't know until today, he also does some personal events. So if you have uh, surprise parties or something that have a special occasion sort of difference, it's not just the corporate side. Okay, so anyway, over to George. Thank you. First of all, we give John a massive round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. So I'd like to invite you to think back to how you arrived and what you wanted to get out of this. And just take a moment to, to relax and let all that's going to be coming sink deep into your unconscious mind because that's where it's going to stay and be remembered most powerfully. Because those social media insights we came here to find, here's the thing to keep in mind, that if being remembered and referred is the vital aim, there's nothing that beats the offline game. Now after a thoughtful quote from Mr JFK, John got into some content that was simply great pausing to make the point that social media is stupidly complex, so it's important to put it in a simpler context, breaking it down into the platforms that are best for you according to what it is you need to do. Knowing whether it's content, relationships, influence or rating, these will help hone your decision making. Generating a blog each and every week, it's not necessary if quality is what you want to keep. And believe Facebook's hyped and remember this key, mobile socialization is changing how you and me connect with each other, bridging that gap between how the online and offline interacts. That man John then introduced the Accelerate model that's got him seriously juiced, where with an authentic profile, you nurture those core advocates, knowing the impact credible proof will make, so you can be effective as you lead and learn, or learn and lead, remembering that tactical engagement is what you need. Keep in mind when the high traffic times will be as you accept that recommendation when most will see. And thinking, your network's big enough, what chances might you miss? And please, don't believe those five LinkedIn myths. Because listen, with LinkedIn, in short, you get out what you put in. So to make more effort would now be a good time to begin? In simple terms, let's take this lesson. If there's a market for your product, there's a market for your message. So you best give yourself a chance with profile optimization to gain greater SEO and lead generation. Plus, you've got to make that profile authentic and kind of sexy. And if you're not using a real email address, you'll really upset them. <laughs> and the customers you'd like to engage. So make contacting you easy. Don't leave them lost in a rage. And once you've made those thousands of connections, remember that Pareto guy as you 80-20 to simplify. And it's about ROI. So try a bit of segment and tag and know a personal invitation is something you've got to have. Be glad to give recommendations and don't be afraid to ask for endorsement as soon as you achieve the task. Because after the event, the moment's gone. Get them to capture the magic now that you've excelled and shone. And one last thing, it's called the phone. There used to be one in every home. <laughs> don't be afraid to use it, else you might be losing opportunities to ensure that you're the person the customer's choosing. Now, that's the core and credibility, but for impact that's effective, use those groups for fruitful connecting. And one of the best things, believe it rarely fails, is to reach those key decision makers through LinkedIn mail. And do embrace the prospect of caring and sharing, and don't be someone whose broadcasts are blaring, and to be fair and swell, don't blatantly sell, and steer clear of those unhealthy debates as well. Now, we can tell a few more things about Mr. Neeson, as we discovered some different ESPs to give buyers a reason. And after some tea and networking plus, we learned how accelerating your social media with Twitter is an absolute must. And yes, it's true the video was kind of outdated, <laughs> but it shows how possible Twitter makes it for us to share those day-to-day -day moments. Again, an engaging profile has got to be your focus. Because know this, fake profiles exist and the sites are purging, which is changing how the picture's emerging. So John urges that for our core, we've got to be building lists so that we can see the tweets of those we wish. Because this gives us a key advantage when we go offline, allowing us to learn what others are doing at that moment in time. Meaning talk of the bloody weather need be no more, because your conversational skills leave people enthralled. And for a way to make a great impact when you pick up the phone, mentioning their tweet will get you right in the zone. For credible proof, it's cool to connect with the competition and don't be afraid again to share when the testimonials are given. And listen, hashtags, they're not just for X Factor news, they allow people to choose to engage with what you do. 
and to see if you like, like me, like me, like me, Burks, ask if they did it offline, would the tactic work? Now we unearthed what the Twitter button has is some serious power, allowing your contact to be tracked and shared every hour. And for learning and leading, avoid too much automation and that begging that smacks of desperation. Do thank for tweets, follows and mentions, and don't be afraid to break with convention by not using all 140 characters in your tweeted note, because then the retweet is lost space to use your quotes. And no, the manual retweet can really make an impression, but you've got to keep things focused to ease your stressing. So, if you want the blessing of some help and expertise, I'd have to be suggesting John and Angeline, because they've got their foot right on the pedal, with such a passion to serve and help you step up the levels, giving you social media that goes way beyond great, because they really know how to excel low rate. <laughs>